I'm Michael Bain and welcome to Triggered, coming to you from the secret hidden bunker in the Rocky Mountains and Dragon House Studios, and brought to you this week by Muzzle Stick, Chamber Flags, Muzzle Flags, one more level of safety, which is always good, and our pals at MTM Case Guard. Obviously, there's a lot of hosters on the ta table here, and I need to kind of catch up on some of the new hosters that have come into the house and why I chose them. There's been a good bit of interest in this gun. This is my Taurus 692. It is 9mm 380 or 38 357, depending on the cylinder. It's a gun that I want to shoot in the Pat Rogers Memorial Revolver Roundup at Gunsight later this year. So I needed a holster. So I reached out to Tony at JM Custom Kydex. He's been making holsters for me for a decade. He is a brilliant Kydex bender. I said, let's see if we can put together uh, and inside the waistband, outside the waistband. Tony, as always, came through. This is the IWB. And, you know, the 692 is a pretty good size revolver, GP100 size revolver. But you'd be surprised at how well you can carry it concealed inside the waistband. For outside the waistband, same thing. Tony came up with this, which is one of his regular outside the waistband revolver holsters. By the way, this is one of the Taurus 4-inch match 38 357s, which is a really nice little gun. But it works well if you're doing exercises on the range and you want that outside the waistband holster. It fits well, it carries well, you've got adjustable tensioning. Another problem child that recently got a solution was this big honking chunk of a Ruger Red Hawk, 44 Magnum. Four inch Red Hawk. I actually shot through a uh, Gunsight 250 class with this a few years back, shooting 44 Special. But I recently mounted a red dot on it because I like red dots. And this gun wasn't seeing as much use as I thought. I thought, well, let's put a red dot on it. But then how do you get a holster that fits a great big gun like this with a red dot? Well, what you do is you immediately reach out to our pal, Rob Leahy, at Simply Rugged Leather, and say, hey, Rob, I got a four-inch Red Hawk with a red dot on it. He'll send me a picture. And what comes is one of his amazing leather holsters. That One of the things about Rob is, is that he started making holsters in Alaska for Alaskan guides, and they all carry great big guns because there's great big bears up there. So this is his, his mod of a Red Hawk holster fitted with a red dot sight. So you've got some protection for your red dot and an absolutely rock sturdy setup. Briefly, if you've never seen a Filster City Special for a snub nose revolver, they are the perfect snub nose revolver holster. You can also get them for the Taurus 856 and the 856 Toro, which is already fitted with an optic. Similar type holster from DeSantis, but generally if you want an IWB, a snubby revolver, it's hard to beat a Filster City Special. Finally, as you guys know, I've been talking to the guys at Falco Hosters in uh, Slovenia, the Slovak Republic, and they said, let us send you a, an interesting holster that you could at least take a look at. And that's this guy. It is basically an IWB holster. It is part leather, part Kydex. There's a lot of people that absolutely don't like that. I don't seem to be one of them. One of the things that I like about this holster is the sweat guard itself, which the danger of, of any of these holsters that have leather backing is it bends, the sweat guard bends and the gun hits it, the trigger hits it. This is a double stitching of leather specifically to solve that problem. When we come back, shoulder stuff.
Welcome back to Triggered. Sometimes a uh, holster is more than just for carrying the gun, but it's for solving certain specific problems. And as I mentioned, Falco Holsters sent me a care package of holsters, and they specifically requested that I take a look at their shoulder holster. And you know, shoulder holsters kind of fell out of favor after Dirty Harry in the 1970s, but there's still an excellent reason for using them under jackets, under coat jackets, for carrying a big heavy gun because it distributes weight. This is their version for the 6 inch Rossi 38357 and this is a holster that you got the snap, when you pop the snap it cants out which gives you a clearer draw on the gun. You're able to get like that long 6 inch barrel out of the holster a lot faster. And aside from the fact that it's beautiful leather work, um, it kind of makes you want to always start wearing a suit jacket, you know, just so for no other reason than you get a chance to use this great holster. But lots of adjustability on the other side. Uh, you can make it fit. Um, this is a very well thought out shoulder holster. And when you need a shoulder holster, nothing else does work. One more interesting holster to show you here. This is from my friend Dave Lauk, of course, in, in Prescott, Arizona. And Lauk works with a lot of interesting people, especially uh, big gun guides in Alaska. And what they asked Dave to do is design them a chest holster that was comfortable for days and days at a time. When you're lugging a big pack, you're lugging a log gun, but you still want a big blaster in case you have to deal with Mr. Bear. And so this is Dave's answer to that. This particular gun is set for a 3-inch 44 Magnum Smith & Wesson. But the key thing is what Dave wanted was comfort. And that's why he worked in with these straps, these slightly elastic uh, like scuba wetsuit. Huge adjustability. You can clamp it down in a lot of different ways. It's a very thoughtfully designed holster for people who need to carry a great big heavy gun all the time and need to have it accessible over and above their pack, whatever shoulder strap type other items they have, or carrying a long gun. So he asked me to show this to you guys. So if you need to carry a big gun in a big place like Alaska, Dave Lout can help you out. When we come back, one more great big box from MTM. This week's Triggered is brought to you by Muzzle Stick. Biggest, brightest, strongest. Taurus USA. Always ready, always bring it. Stoger. Everyday tough. SDS Imports, Tesis. Tesis means quality. Hunter's HD Gold. They change so you don't have to. And MTM Case Guard. Quality shooting sports accessories. Over the months we've been talking about our sponsor, MTM Case Guards, great big ammo boxes. Well, to me, this is the most important big ammo box that MTM makes. And you know why? This is the box that is the... Oh my God, I have no idea where to put that. The answer is, put it in the great big box. Close the lid on the box, and then on those cold winter nights when you're not doing anything else, you can bring this into your living room and sort everything out. You can also use it to stack boxes of ammunition, which it was designed for. So that's it for this week's Triggered. I'm Michael Bain. You can find us on michaelbain.tv where we're always free tremendous resource on, on gun stuff. You can also find us on YouTube. You can find us on Rumble. You can find us on X, formerly Twitter. We'll see you next week.